Today na good day, lucky day, good day go. I don't want to say, you know, I'm corrupt the show, cause we go party. Welcome, beautiful people. How on a day? How are you all doing today, man? It's been a wonderful day. Like I said, we don't see we rainfall, and that alone, it is sweet, my belly. <laughs> I mean, that's giving me great joy. I do like walking on the road and I'll be seeing photo bottom on my sneakers. You two bite me in my belly. Do you understand? I don't know if you are like me out there, but then, me, I don't like it. All right? Thank you for joining today. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that you joined. All right? It's the launch mix. And I'm your favorite guy, Emmanuel Okafor, aka the classic, the energy icon. You near me, you collect autoporiously, but I am not violent. All right. Yes, this is a launch mix where it promises to be very exciting and entertaining at the same time. It also promises to be very edutaining, right? We will edutain you. In case you are not edutained, we will edutain you. We'll talk about hot gists, uh, celebrity gist, compass gist, um, culture. We talk about our culture and lifestyle, okay? We talk about everything, you, all right? This is the launch mix. Well, we got to gist one-on-one. -on -one. All you have to do is just send me a message either via my personal page on Instagram or via the, the pages that are being displayed on the screen right now. Anyone, just, you know, send me a message. Let's talk. I want to hear you. All right, how is your day going? Are you, are you achieving those goals? Are you achieving those deadlines? Are you, are you making that money? Are you getting those clients? Are you closing those deals? Are you making money? You know, is your business going well if you're in school? Are you getting those those formulas right are you getting those lectures are you you know are you okay i want to know send me messages all right as for me i am having a good time and this is the launch mix so you cannot not have a good time do you understand yes today we'll be talking about something very important um it's a very important topic to me because it affects me all right so i won't be talking about it alone i'll be bringing in a very good good man in the industry quote and unquote because yes he's actually done a very a very good job in the industry i think i met him a couple of months ago and yeah what i've seen i've seen uh, some some bit of consistency in his work and you know i admire him a lot i will introduce him when i come back from the break but yeah before i go for break I want to let you know that what we're talking about is how to excel. How to excel in the entertainment industry as a company. The, ent the industry is very what? It's very competitive. And, you know, as a compare, for those that don't understand the meaning of compare, or for those that don't know what a compare is, MC or comedian, you know, MC, comedian, compare, three different things, but then, yes, they are, they are, they are, they work hand in hand, all right? Yes, but you agree with me that it is very hard as, as an individual to come into this business without training, without any form of mentorship, without anything at all. It, it doesn't take a funny person. It doesn't take a funny person at all to be a comedian or a compare or this one. Uh -uh. You have to undergo serious training. And you would also agree with me that that business, eh, ent entertainment premier, is a very thriving business in nigeria today yeah so we talked about the struggles of the compare I, I mean because they make people laugh doesn't mean that they are always happy of course right and we talked about how how is hard and and the challenges we actually face as compares i, I mean if you are a compare out there and you are watching this you would agree with me that omo you know easy right um we had to go all the way out do your ads on social media talk to event planners talk to family members enemy everybody just to make sure that you get a gig i'm all thumbs up to all the comedians out there and all to all my mentors i'm shouting out to you at Sako, the spirit of Sako. i'm shouting out to you at star omo i'm shouting out to you at star ayomik all of you mc stylo shout out to you all thank you very much for all you have done for me all right yes that is it and for you watching me right now thank you very much okay thank you 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 don't have to go anywhere we will be right back okay but i will leave you with some fine fine music and i'll be introducing our guest for the day when i get back okay don't go anywhere don't touch that dial i'm sure you want to listen to this because if you don't jot things down you cannot take things out all right Thank you very much. I will see you right after this break. Eh, eh, eh.
Eh, welcome back, my beautiful people. Ah, hope you enjoyed those wonderful banks, man. It was really, really, really lovely. Yeah, welcome, and in case you're just joining us, welcome. If you were here with us before, welcome back. All right. So yeah, like I said before, we will be talking about something really, really important. I, I gave you, you know, a tip of iceberg in uh, uh, before we went for the break, but now we are going deep into it. I have a wonderful guest with me, but uh, before I introduce him, for the benefit of those that are just joining us, we are talking about excelling as a compare in a competitive industry. You will agree with me that the industry is really, really competitive. Compare or actor or musician or entertainment industry, it is really, really, really competitive. All right. But before we do anything, ladies and gentlemen, I have with me here OJ Laughter. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you one and only delectable OJ Laughter. OJ, please introduce yourself properly. All right. All right. Um, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is OJ Laughter. I'm a compare and a comedian with great prowess. Actually, um, I'm the only comedian and MC with 37 and a half calling. Actually, the half is on the state building. So basically, before the end of the year, it will be up to 38. That's it. Wow. Yep. That one shocked me. Yeah. <laughs> 37 and a half calling. calling yeah. All right, all right. That, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right, so today, we are going to be talking about something really, really important. All right? Um, it is really hard these days, especially in this entertainment industry. Yeah. You know, as a compare and 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 a comedian at the same time. You know, I want to establish the fact that those two things are different. I am a compare, but I'm not a comedian. He is a compare and a comedian. All right. So is my I can. It is it is safe to say that he is my organ itself. All right. So yes, I, I cannot make you laugh the way you want to laugh. For him, he will crack you up that you'll be crying. All right. So yes, I need you to send me. I I, I want to hear from you. What do you think? You, do you think it's the same thing as a compare or um compare and comedian? Uh, I did the same thing. Send me messages. I want to know. You can you can send me messages. Uh via my Instagram handle, my personal Instagram handle at official e classic, or you can send me messages on the social media handles that are being displayed on the screen right now. All right. So today, like I said, we'll have this wonderful guy here is OJ Laughter with the 37 and a half um, talent. Abi? Calling. Actually. Uh -huh. 37 and a half calling. Don't forget that. Yeah. Right? He's a compare doing so great in the industry. He's also a comedian that makes people laugh. You will laugh until you forget your problem. But after you laugh, finish, you will remember your problem. Amen? Amen. All right. So tell us, what has your experience been? All right. All right. Um, like, 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 when did you start? When, when did you say, when can you say, ah, I started comparing or comi comedy? So, 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 yeah. All right. I actually started 2016. Oh, wow. Uh, 2016, that was when I started. Um, started 2016, I met my mentor 2017. So officially, I can say I started 2017. So that was when I started. Okay. Yep. So and, uh, Wow, wow, wow. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. uh, funny enough, yeah, I started, I started compare, being a compare in 2016 as well. But it wasn't serious because I wasn't making money from it. You know now. Uh, oh, how I go for concerts. Oh, can I be your MC? Uh, I, I do that. I, I started in church, actually. You know, I started hosting church shows and everything back to back. You know, I was really because it was something that is very dear to me. So I started it, and it was really wonderful. But I would officially say that it became a thing professionally. I started making money from it in 2018, right? Uh, yes. So I started meeting people, started talking to people, you know, let me uncle your wedding, let me, uh, it's, it's been good. Trust me, last year was, mwah. honestly, last year was one of the best year in my life as a company. I mean, I, I met I met my mentors last year in terms of compare. I, I met the likes of Sako, Sako International is my compare. In terms of general compare, comparing MC, in fact, great guy. I also met Omo. Omo is Omo does more of corporate corporate um, corporate events and all of that. So Omo is my I, I look up to him for I learn things from him um, in terms of corporate gigs. He does weddings and all and and then I have Ayo. Ayo does wedding, like strictly wedding. 
not strictly, but it does majorly, majorly. weddings and all of that. So, I mean, guess what? It's it's like a a web, right? Because Omo knows um, Omo knows Sako, Sako knows Omo and Ayo. Everybody knows each other, right? And I met great guys like Stylo and Stylo. Shout outs to you wherever you are. And you know those people are people that you can run to and whenever you need help and you know they will they would okay do it this way, do it this way. And it has really helped me. All right. So in case you are listening out there, I mean I love you all. In case you heard your name, I love you all. And Ayo, Omo, Sako. Thumbs up to you guys, MC Stylo, wherever you are. God bless you for all you have done. All right, that's. I mean, it, it made my life easy, and I cannot overemphasize the, the fact that I I was happy the day I met each and every one of them. All right. So, but that's not why we are here. Why we are here is that there there are so many things that has been going on in the industry lately, and that is what we are here to talk about: excelling in a competitive industry as a company. So first of all, I, I want you to tell me the good, the bad, and then we'll talk about the ugly later. So tell me the good parts, and then we'll go to the bad parts, and then we'll continue from there. All right. Um, a lot of good parts, but at the same time, you know, you also have bad parts too. Of course. Um, you know, like you said, last year was actually good for you. Yes. Uh, maybe Very I good. think maybe for almost everyone in the industry, because you know, after COVID. You know, a lot of people put their events oh, on yeah. hold. Okay, you get, that was why. Maybe. Hey, ah, so I didn't even think about that. You get so people needed to just some people were postponing their wedding, yeah, yeah, their yeah, events, yeah, and all of those. Yeah, so yeah, you get so basically we had to do. We we did it. I actually did a lot last That's year true. too. You know, yeah. So basically, we we we'll be running events. You know, like you said, you started in church. Mm. I think almost. Almost all comedians, almost comedian compares starting in church. Okay. You get I, I I think so. Because um, you know, that's where you get platform and the platform are good. You get basically free, 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 free of charge, charge you know. <laughs> you know, so if if that's actually what you like doing, you know, they give you the platform, they give yes. you you are, yes. give you the opportunity to anchor events yes. and all of those. So um I mean we we've been doing events, you know, we've done several events before now. You know, now we're still doing too. The good part is that money is entry, you get actually. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Oh, you cook, cook. yeah, basically. I, I, so, I know, I know. That means you know, that so, yes, you know. So, but the also bad parts. Can we talk about the bad part now? Yeah, talk about talk, okay. talk about the bad part. There are a lot of bad parts in the industry, mm. no, no, not a lot though, but maybe yeah, some there are, there are a lot actually. Say it, you eat. Without any fear of favor, don't worry. I'm here for you. Okay. Hey. Are you a military? Don't worry, I'm here for you. Are you a first man? <laughs> yeah, I am. I am here for you. Don't say the way it is. Drop uh, it like it's hot. All right, when you say bad part, is it in terms of... Uh, in terms of everything. In terms of yeah, um, an- anchoring an event, maybe event. you have a bad day like, or something. Like your business as a company. Okay. Right? Every business undergo wins and every business undergoes loss. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So... You've told us that okay, last year you did quite a lot. That's a win because money was coming in. So there are some bad parts. I'll share mine. Okay. This week I, I got two calls from two different people. They want me to to, to 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 anchor their events. One was supposed to be on Saturday. They moved it to September. They called me to move, right? And they've already paid advance payment. So <laughs> I mean I have a policy of no refund no refund of um, money or yeah. not, I'm, I will refund you the, the 100%. Whole, yeah. Right? Yeah. And so, for me, even if they eventually don't do it, I will just send them it to pen as their refund. All right. So, and then the second one co- that called me, that event was supposed to be tomorrow. She later called to cancel, and I'm like, okay, no problem. You've not paid me, I've not, no, I've not received any payment, and I've not gotten any. So, we're fine. Do you understand? I can record those as bad bad days mm. do you understand so yes share your experience okay the bad the bad the bad okay the most the most annoying days as as a compare okay i think i have similar experience too uh, okay. i was supposed to have an event on saturday okay yeah they've, they've paid in advance they okay. pay certain percentage okay. though okay. you get so and they call and say you know what we could not get so and so we could not get so and so something happened okay. they cancelled it okay do you know and they already, like you said, we all have we all have policy. We have you know yes. our rules, you know. Yes. So I told them, well, you see, 
Madopi or Nadopi? Yeah. You understand? So, so I had to just re refund 30%. Okay. You guys had to just re refund 30%. You, 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 nice. yeah, you know, because of tomorrow, because these are clients that patronize me, they're like event planner you get. So, mm. you, you know, if you are working with event planner, you know that you should always get event for them and all of this. Yes, so, yes, yes, yes. You know, another bad uh, um, day I have, um, I think I, I don't know if you had this experience before where um, the, it's the band that's actually playing. Maybe as you, you are the compare okay. and um, instead of maybe DJ, you know, mm. some uh, clients, they use DJ and band. Yes. I don't know if you've had experience before. Yes, yes. Whereby, in fact, they won't allow you to do your work. Yes. They'll tell you we are recording. We don't want you to use the mic. Mm. So, and you not look as if you don't know your job. Mm. You not look as if maybe, I mean, you're just there. They'll tell you MC, do something, man. You'll be explained to, to the people that, ah, these people mute my mic. Wow. You get okay, so so I think my first job in 2022, yeah, it was like that. Okay, this year, okay, it was the 7th of January, yeah, this year. and it was two two different bands actually. Oh, One two from, different bands, yes, oh, okay, Yoruba band and Urubo band. Whoa, and they keep coming to me, and I'm like, yo, and guess what? I, 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 I was able to handle it well because. The Yoruba guys, we were my guys. I know them. We okay. worked together oh, okay. a lot. Okay. And these other guys, I don't know them. And they keep coming to me that I am favoring these people more. Yeah. Like, you know, those kind of things. Now, you, if you are not careful, you won't be able to um, um, what's it called now? control, control or yeah. such situation. Yeah. So, in such situation, what can you do? Say, giving advice to other compares, coming up compares out there. I think sometimes it, it, it's boils down to the client sometimes because okay. even when you have challenges as this, you you go meet the the couple or maybe the, the person that booked you. Yeah. Still, there are still some band. It's like I think that is a spirit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't know. <laughs> Every band spirit out there, you are cancelled in Jesus' name. All right, but but yeah, I get you. I, I mean, for me, I, 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 from what you've said, I, I, I want to believe that you said the days that money aren't coming in are bad days. Yeah. Right? And the days where you face a, a lot of hurdles in your events and, you know, especially trying to micromanage band, DJ, all those running up and down. I, I and, mean, and also I, Lagos traffic too, you know. Ah, you don't want to go there. I, I, that event I was telling you about, it was on the first of Jan, seventh uh, of January. I had to come down from the Uber and take the bike. Bike, yeah. Right. It was somewhere around Ogba. I had to come down from, and I was coming from Tuluere. I had to come down. I just took bike and I was able to meet up, right? So, but I mean, these are the um, the challenges we face as as MC, as MCs and compares. All right. So. Um, we would be going for a break now, but before we go, don't don't touch that dial, don't go anywhere. Um, we will come back, and when we come back, we'll be, talk, we'll be talking about the difference between comedians and compares. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right? So don't go anywhere, don't touch that dial. We are still live with um, OJ Laughter, okay? And I remain my humble self, a classic, the energy icon. If you near me, you collect autoporiously, but I'm not violent, all right? So don't... Don't go anywhere. Stay glued to that TV and enjoy these wonderful songs. We are going to pay some bills. When we get back, we will hit you where you go pay me. Welcome back, beautiful people. Aha. Eh -heh, eh -heh, eh -heh. I have a question for you. I've forgotten to ask you that question before. Um, do you, do you, did you send me a message? Did you let me know what your idea or your opinion is about MC and comedian are they the same thing? What do you think? I don't think they are the same, and I'll tell you why. So you tell me. Send the messages at official e classy with a Q at the end, or send messages at the social media handles that are being displayed on the screen right now. In case you're just joining us, my name is Emmanuel Okafor, aka e Classic, the Energy Icon, and with me here is one and only OJ Laughter, comedian of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, this is he live. All right, so um, we were discussing about um, a very important topic, um, excelling in a competitive industry as a compare. You know the entertainment industry is very, very competitive. You will agree with me that it's very, very competitive. And yes, he has shared some nuggets about uh, the good days, the bad days, and now we are going deeper, the ugly days, and also, uh, but we will start from 
now so you, you want to you want to tell us um what what do you think is the difference between a compare and a comedian okay a, a comedian is someone who is naturally funny now someone crack up people without mc because an mc is someone who organize who, who um how would i say now someone who anchor an event you know somebody basically who manages manage an event an event you get to you you don't have to be a comedian to be a good compare uh, but you have to you have to be trained if you are, because some some of us are comedians and we are mcs yeah. i started out as a comedian okay you get to but when i started as a comedian i thought i could, I could actually do mc, do MC work yeah. you go get with that experience i you know that i had to tried it and it yeah. you. Ah, no, honestly <laughs> you know so yeah, I, I, so but i had to get trained i had to go for uh, lectures i had to get get a mentor and um eventually to get out from there and oh okay that, know, so that, that makes sense so there's a big difference between the comedian so you and heard and that there is a very big difference between a compare and a comedian yeah. uh, in my own little in my own little um idea that i have i i, I would say that um all compares are not comedians yeah. but all comedians can be compared and all compares can be comedian. If you don't, if you don't get it, forget about it. All you... compares can be comedian. Yeah, I, I don't think so. Yeah. All compares can't be comedian. No, if they if they actually train, they can. I'm actually I'm actually doing a training right now. Oh really? On how to be a comedian, oh, right? Okay. Yes, I'm 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 actually I'm actually training right now on how to be a comedian. Okay. You know, if I add that to my CV, just like you added compare to your oh. CV of you know comedian comedy and and is and is bringing money do you understand so if if this one will pay this one will pay because they work hand in hand yeah do you understand yeah so being a compare is a lot i mean if things is not going well in your event how you will not collect your balance i i <laughs> i went to uncle i went to uncle a birthday 70th birthday for a client um in last month yes and at some point, her family members were actually disorganizing the event. I've tried and I couldn't stop it. She came to me, she said, Emmanuel, if you don't make this thing work, you will not get your balance. I was like, Madam, how is that my business? You know, and, but the truth of the matter is that, yes, it's your, it's actually your business. Yeah. Because you are the manager or master of the ceremony. ceremony. So you have to actually master it right and you have to make sure that everything is working well and everything is going smoothly because it's you that you are seeing do you understand and eventually i was able to um liaise with the event planner and we synergized and everything worked well and i got my balance praise hallelujah. the lord hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> all right so yes now my brother a question for you okay we 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 understand that um comedians they make people laugh so when you are down, who makes you laugh? When because I, I believe that you must have been depressed. Yeah. I mean, there there are days where I'm like, okay, fine. Ah, I make people happy and all of that. Who is going to make me happy? So how do you how do you manage or how do you handle those kind of situations where nobody's there to make you laugh? Do you make yourself laugh? Do you watch your videos or how do you do it? Well, as for me, what I actually do is I have my other colleagues that are comedians as well. So that I watch, I watch, actually watch some of their contents online, you know, because you're also human. Mm. I I used to work with the TV, a radio station. You know, there was a time I had I had um, one of my relatives just, you know, kicked buckets and I was told that uh, this person is no Kicks more. bucket, for yes, the people that don't know the meaning of kicked bucket, it's not like kick bucket yeah. in real life, it means died. Yes. You know, actually, so and we're about going to, um, we're about have, have going for a program, yeah. yeah. And they told us, and I, I actually felt bad, I was down, but you know, the show, show has to still go on, you yeah. get so eventually, I just just be me, mm. you know, I just have to just be man, be a man, be a man, be, be a man, man. Mm. Understand? that word, be a man, be a man, it's be all right, man. continue, <laughs> you understand, but I had to just, you know, do what I need to do that day. You know, after the um, program, I came back, you know, the human side of me, the emotional side of me, I had to still mourn. You know, I still cried because... Um, and you went to make people laugh. Of course. And you came back and you cried. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I, I watch content online. I watch my fellow com comedians. I watch them online. You know, I also say words, you know, words like that when I'm going through stuff. You get like, there are things I say to help myself. 
you get so and as a Christian too, there are some prayers I also do, you know, oh. as Christians, you know, so. So, so those help you to come out of depression? Yeah. Or when you are feeling down? And I also just... speak to friends too. Oh, okay. You okay, get, okay. Uh, I, I, think, think, like, I, I have think close that's... friends too that I speak to like, oh, I'm going through this, so they'll be like, oh, really? It's just a phase, you know, those ones also encourage me. Mm. You get, so mm. basically. Because, yes, I, I, I like what you said, like you speak to friends. Yeah. For me, for everything you said, that's like the most important. Because at the end of the day, people usually think that uh, comedians are always happy. And because of their, maybe they, are, they always hey, look happy. Actually. Okay, okay. Actually, comedians always look happy. Yeah. But the truth of the matter is that, um, deep down, if they tell you what what is what is going on, what is going on, you will know that. Uh, but but there's something I read in psychology that says that most of the times. Those people that are, are the liveliest, uh, when it comes when it comes to a gathering of people, the, the most lively people, the most happening, the most bubbling people, yeah. are actually the sad ones when they are alone. So is that your case? Not really. Okay. Not really because when I'm alone, mm. there are things I do like I I try not to be alone even if I'm alone. Mm. You get so mm. I try to to play songs, try to just get myself engaged. You know, I try to play tapes. There are tapes mm. I play just to get my mind busy. Like Bugan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> right? so, 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 I like what you said. I try not to be alone even when I'm alone. So I won't go and call it alone. Yeah. Don't leave me. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. That, 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 that's a very good one. So, yeah. so, so, I, I have another question for you. Thank you very much. I like the fact that you're being real. Yeah. All right. Uh, but this question is very important. What are your struggles? You started in 2016 and we're in 2022. What are your struggles? What has been your struggles over the year? How do you get a job and how do you prepare for your job? Okay, uh, sometimes getting a job is not always easy. Okay. Uh, it's not sometimes, all the time. Most times, actually, okay. whereby you have to do. There are times in a month you won't, you won't have it, even a, an event. Yes, yes, yes. Except you I have. Agree. You have maybe event planner that you work with. Yes. Maybe almost every time you get. Mm. So sometimes you might even offer yourself uh, for free events. For free, yes. So that not be as if you are not going out. Going out, yes. Let yeah, not be as if you are far from the mic. Let I not agree. be as if you are now you are on the mic. You are having chorus and all of I this. Agree. So you know sometimes. You, so it's not always easy though. It's not always easy because you know you are at home. Sometimes you now start looking. Okay, what can I do mm. outside this industry now? You know, I start having thoughts. Yes, and I, I, and, I, and, I'm, and I was I was going to go there. Yeah. I was going to go there, but yeah. but continue. I think you now start having you now start having other options like to go and look for a job. You go and just look for you know <laughs> something to <laughs> see as if uh, you know so that I will not be because jobs are not coming actually. Yeah, you know so sometimes it's not really. You know, encourage is not actually easy to because you have family, you have you have bills to pay. Mm. You get so those are actually my struggles. Mm -hmm. So uh, how do I get events? You know, I put my content out there. I speak to people. I have some event planners that I work with. Yeah. You get so those ones whenever there's events, you know, they call me. Oh, yeah. So basically, but I make sure I do. I I do broadcast. I my status. Yeah. My IG. Every of my social, social media, and, yeah. you get so I do more, of, you know, advert on my. And All right, so finally, finally, sorry, I've, I've kept you so long in this place, yeah. <laughs> but uh, today that we have you, we won't allow you go. So finally, what has been your biggest, your biggest challenge in the in the job? When you say my biggest challenge, sometimes you know, I don't know if you've anchored the event before, and you know, maybe based on the fact that you don't have an experience. Mm. You know, they tell you after the event will pay you. Mm. You get so, and there was no agreement of any. Yes. Pay, so, so yeah. you know, there was no agreement. So after the event of maybe something, I mean, a very huge amount of money. Mm. And maybe after the event, you did whatever even came to say, ah, nice one. You now, know, now reduce your money. So not even reduce. They now not pay you. They now tell you that I will get back to you. Ah. Have you heard stuff like I will get back to you? Oh, my so way. one month we'll get back to you. Two months. As we are now, as I'm still here now, they are still getting back to you. They are still getting back to you. You understand? So, hallelujah. Amen. All right. <laughs> so, basically, that's one of my biggest challenge. All right. So, you know, so, 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 finally, before you go, what advice can you give upcoming compares, people that are aspiring to be compares in the nearest future, or people that are just starting up? What advice can you give them? Okay. Um, one of the major advice I've given them. What advice can you give? 
<laughs> one of the others I give to people that are just starting out is um, first of all, if you know that's what you want to do, I'll get a mentor, um, get someone who has gone ahead in the industry, you know, try and be close to them and make sure you go out with them so because our job is more or less like practical. Practical, yeah. yeah so you have to always be in the field, yeah. you know, so get a mentor, do, I, I think I do, I take classes online personally, you know, I go, I go, I, there's this, um, I don't know how to put it, but I view people's work as well. I see, I benchmark somebody. Mm. There, there are people who have gone ahead of you. Yes. You get to benchmark them. Then, then sometimes it's not be, it's be as if it's not working. Just keep at it. Mm. You know, just keep working and uh, offer yourself for free events. You know, don't be carried away with money mm. when you're starting out. You know, so do, just free gigs. do free gigs. Free gigs. You know, so it's those free, free gigs that actually sell you out. Yes. I get to tell people, ah, this guy is this, this guy is this. You get to, so like this. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, so before you go, um, are you on social media? Yes, I believe. So yeah, please um, tell us what are your handles: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, everything. All YouTube. right. All right. Um, so just, my name. Just tell the audience. My name is OJ Lafta. OJ OJ L A F T. O J L A F T across all social media, across all social media o on J Twitter, Lafter. on IG, that is Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook is O J Laughter. It's just one name. O J Laughter. How about YouTube? O J Laughter. Yes, O J Laughter. All right. Thank you very much. It's been wonderful having you on the show. But before you go, crack one joke for us now. All right. Yes. He get one man. Which man? No, no, no. What are you telling me? He get one man. Oh yeah, just, just, just do something. All right, you actually get one man, dude. Get one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just do something for us real quick. Actually, yeah, you know, for those who know me very well before now, they will know that I'm, I'm very, you know, very shabby. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I fought very well before. You understand? Know, I actually lost my, I lost my weight. I lost my, yeah. I lost my appetite actually, you know, I lost my appetite, so I don't know, I, I don't know, but you know, you watching me at home, I don't know if you're there, you let me see my appetite, if you see me before, yes. as I'm speaking to you now, I'm looking for my appetite, I'm not being able to eat for the past. Are you sure it's not Sakpa that took No, it. no, it's not Sakpa. <laughs> Sakpa took it and Jakpa. No, no, no. <laughs> So actually, I've been to the police station to report this case. So you are still looking for your appetite? You understand? How many years are we talking about now? No, not a year, just a week. <laughs> so I don't reduce. If you see me before, I will not be smart. So my, our viewers at home, if you hear me see my appetite, okay. please just bring it to my house. I stay on the island, that is Banana Island. Actually, after Dangote's house, the next house is Mike yeah. Adenuga's house. No, Mike Adenuga. Okay. After Mike's house, now my house. Okay. We're all neighbors. Okay. Mike. Okay. Yes, that is Mike Adenuga. We're all neighbors. Okay, Mike yes. Adenuga. They're my senior colleague. Colleague. You understand? Okay. So we're all colleagues. Okay. We live in the same neighborhood. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, Noah. Thank you very much. It's been wonderful having you on the show. Right. Viewers, what do you think? Please go and follow OJ Laughter. He's the guy for you. All right. He's comedian, MC, compare of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And it's been lovely having you on the show. Thank you once My again. Pleasure. I can overemphasize that. Thank you. All right. Don't go anywhere. We will see you after the break. For now, enjoy this wonderful music. Welcome back, beautiful people out there. Hey, gay, 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 gay. Hope you enjoyed all. Hope you enjoyed all this music that was played. In case you're just joining us, my name is Emmanuel Ukafo, aka E Classic, the Energy Icon. You near me, you collect what to put your sleeve, but I'm not violent. All right. Yes, it's been an amazing time. In case you're just joining, Omar, you come late, but may you never be late. Amen. Amen. All right, uh, so we had we had a wonderful guest in the house. OJ Laughter was in the building with us. All right, and we talked about something really important: uh, excelling in a competitive industry as an as an MC or a compare. I mean, it's uh, you would agree with me that the entertainment industry at large is very very competitive. I mean, I went for an acting audition um, sometimes last year. I got there around say 7 a.m. and my number was about what, 300 and something, 378. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just be going home. Do you get? Because I mean, 378, the people who audition in God, they go down tire. So I went home. All right. I, I mean, so, but after that day, I, I, I try not to go for auditions late anymore. Okay. I mean, so you would agree with me that yes, the, the industry is very big, and at the same time, there are millions, even not billions of people. There are millions of people in the industry trying to do what you're doing, and there are a lot of people that are doing what you are doing, and they are doing it well. 
okay so if you have to come up then you must have something to offer if you don't have anything to offer you're gonna be kicked out like a ball all right hope you are dropping things out so you can take things out all right so yes we talked about oj oj was in the building we talked about our um, we talked about his struggles how he started he started in 2016 i also started uh compare being a compare in 2016 but i became a professional compare say 2018 stroke 2019 all right and it's been a wonderful it's been a wonderful experience last year was very awesome i think i made i made so many a very huge amount of money last year in the industry and this year too started all well i mean we are spreading a what we i mean and yes there's also something i wanted to say before i forgot but now that i remember let me tell you in case you are thinking that what am i talking about the mc industry is one industry or the compare being a compare is one business that is actually thriving a lot of people a lot of people are jumping into it i mean if you're out there and you've been thinking about it Omar, it's time to the time to jump into it is now like my mentor will always say there is space for everybody i mean if we are if we have say like three million compares in lagos we can have three million events where everybody will be anchoring event i mean he also shared an experience where he was he was in an event center that was like a three-story building and two of his friends were actually anchoring the other event and him was also anchoring one other event in the same building can you beat that so yes we need you they need us they need us all right so in case you're thinking about it please come come and be a compare and we also talk about our challenges you know getting jobs we also talked about the struggles we face while um, anchoring an event. Live band, they are always our problem. Live band don't even want you to talk at all because they want people to come and spray them. That is the major issue. If live band is giving you sign or muting your mic or more, it means that you are talking too much. Please shut up. Let people come and spray us money. And some people are just like that. Okay, we talked about we talked about how comedians are not always happy even though they make people laugh all right and we talked about he he said he said that um what makes him laugh is he listen to tapes he call friends he watch some of his friends videos and all of that and that lifts his spirit up do you understand that brings him back to life when he's trying to go into depression or if he's feeling like he will go into depression and yes that is true because like like they say most times the most happy people are actually not the most happy people they can be looking happy or they can post to be happy when they are with you but when they are alone they go into depression or they are sad and all of that so yes don't think that because they are comedians and all of that uh, they, they don't need money or people people uh they are they don't actually have problems the truth of the matter is if you see us for road please give us money eh? why, why, why in depression hello can you hear me why in depression please give us money so we can uh, we can we can we can take care of ourselves do you understand all right so yes that is all we talked about today it's been amazing ain't it yes it's been amazing and thank you for joining the show today it's the launch mix and hope your day is going on well i will go but before i go i want to tell you that keep watching the launch mix show on these favorite channels of yours all right the, you can send me messages and if you want to interact with me one-on-one -on -one, you can send me a dm via my instagram handle at official e classic with a q at the end or you can you can also send messages on the social media handles that are being displayed on the screen right now please let me know what you think and yes lastly before i go also know that not all compares are comedians and not all comedians can be a compare it takes a lot of trainings to be a compare but just take being funny to be a comedian all right thank you very much for tuning in all right i'll see you next time on the same channel but for now enjoy this wonderful music why i go pay some bills see you <laughs>